Off the top at six, the Miami Open Tennis Tournament appears to be moving from Key Biscayne to Hard Rock Stadium, but there could be an 11th hour snag. It all went down today in Miami Dade County Commission Chambers. County commissioners gave the tournament what it asked for, but promoters have a beef that could jeopardize the whole move. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live from County Hall in downtown Miami with the story. Gary. County commissioners approving a plan to allow the Miami Open to move from Key Biscayne to Hard Rock Stadium. Part of the deal will see Hard Rock owner Stephen Ross get a million dollars in incentive money for bringing a major event to the stadium. But the plan isn't quite over the net yet. For 30 years, the Miami Open Tennis Tournament, once called the Lipton, has been held at Key Biscayne's Crandon Park. But it appears that will change beginning in 2019. The tournament plans to move to Hard Rock Stadium after the heirs to the family who donated the Crandon property won a legal battle, blocking a huge expansion of the courts on the key. We went to court and we lost. And so now the, the only option that we have is to have the, the tournament, if we want it to remain in our community, is to allow them to move to the Hard Rock Stadium. And among county commissioners like Joe Martinez, there was general agreement the Miami Open is an event the county can't afford to lose. It's better having it at Hard Rock Stadium than not having it at all. The Miami Open, the sixth the biggest event on the tour, brings hundreds of thousands of visitors who pour millions into the local economy. Keeping the tournament here is a must, and keeping local jobs is a must. The project at Hard Rock would involve a $53 million investment for 24 courts in surrounding lots and center court in the stadium. So I look forward to it. I think it's going to be a win-win. Um, for this community. In the end, the deal, the move, appeared game, set, match. All in favor say aye. aye. Those against. But a spokesman for the tournament said not so fast. We're at grave <laughs> risk of um, not staying in Miami. The management company is sparring with the county over what it owes Miami Dade for previous year's services. The mayor wants it settled in binding arbitration. The tournament says no way. A few see the question of back bills owed by the tournament as being a deal breaker here. It might amount to maybe $2 million chump change for the promoters. So what will happen to the tennis complex at Crandon Park? Well, it will continue to host tennis tournaments, high school teams, college uh, tournaments, and amateur events, and the general public will be invited to play on some quality Courts. We are live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Thank you very much, Gary.